Hello students, we'll start with our ninth unit and talk about night audit. This is a very important and a very, uh, you know, very tricky uh, chapter to understand. So uh, the following topics, the subtopics that you are going to learn, note it very carefully and, uh, you know, understand the main functions, how things happen at a reception. There are, you know, apart from concierge, the main reception, there's a cash handling section. So majorly everything is kind of focused in there. Apart from other, uh, you know, the processes of night audit, uh, the various uh, job description of a no, like a associate cashier, a senior cashier and a night auditor and all of the factors that uh, you know happens all of the processes that happens to make a night shift run smoothly what are the various uh, you know formats that are used so we'll be talking in details about this in your chapter night audit we'll start with section 1 unit 9 we'll first understand the outcome of learning night audit we'll be able to understand the main functions of cash section the process of night auditing the job description of a cash section personnel and the formats used at cash section so at the introduction let us understand cash section and night auditing so the cash Section of a front office department plays a vital role, okay? In recording and maintenance of various transactions held at a front office and any other point of sale in the hotel. The section also verifies the guest and non-guest accounts of the front office accuracy and completeness. So we know that all guest accounts are balanced by the cashier at the close of each shift. So if the hotel has a morning shift, afternoon shift, night shift, there will be three shifts and there will be three cash drops or cash uh, collection by the uh, shift cashier. The person, he or she normally entails answering guest inquiries regarding fees and services. Night auditing is also responsible to check the accounting records on daily basis. The auditor summarizes and compiles information for the hotel's financial records. He or she tracks the revenue, occupancy percentage and other important front office operating statistics. The auditor works the graveyard shift and prepares the summary of cash and credit payments activities reflecting the hotel's financial performance for each day. So students, with this we finish Section 1, Unit 9. We shall now talk about formats of cash, section and auditing. We'll talk about uh, the first topic which is guest account sheet. Now it is a statement detailing the financial transaction between the guest and the hotel. The charges posted in the account of the get get printed at the time of bill. Settlement during the departure from the hotel. Now what is a guest receipt? The cashier gives a receipt to the guest when he or she is settling the bill account through cash credit card at any stage of the uh, guest stay cycle. The receipt is even provided for exchanging foreign currency with the hotel. Okay, it is a, it is a form of cash. So we have to be very careful with uh, the receipt. There are certain encashment certificates. The certificate is a license given from the Reserve Bank of India win, which all standardized hotels hold by them for exchanging foreign currencies given by the guests. So on section 4 of unit 9, we'll now talk about the job description of a night auditor. Let us carefully take a look on the same. Here she trains the front office cashier in night auditing. 
His duty is also to check and verify all postings and balance, checking and post room charges and taxes to guest account, process vouchers like guest charge voucher and credit card vouchers. Now to verify that all transactions performed at the front desk are supported by documentary evidence and signatures are necessary that they have been correctly posted and allocated into the PMS system. PMS system meaning property management system that the hotel has. Verifying that all charges posted from to verify that all the charges are posted from the point of sale software, reach the correct guest folios and are not missing. Okay, prepare for the end of day procedure, follow the night order checklist, and he or she must have complete knowledge of any emergency procedure because you never know accidents can happen and emergency situations can arise. So everybody has to be well prepared. He or she also has to prepare a summary of cash, check and credit card activities, checking figures, posting and documents for accuracy, record store access or analyze computerized financial information. Also preparing important management reports, reports which details the result and further summarizes results of operations for management. Run end of the day process in property management software. Operate PMS and other front office equipment. Response to guests needs special requests and complaints and inform the respective manager. On times in performing check-in and check-out. So students with this we finish our section of unit 9. We will now move on to the procedure of how now night audit happens. We shall now start with section 5 of unit 9 and discuss in details about the process of night auditing. Let us in brief understand what night auditing talks about. It talks about reviewing guest account transaction that is recorded against every revenue center through routine that helps guarantee our accuracy, reliability, thoroughness of the front office accounting. Now the process of night audit happens when the audit confirms that all transactions have been posted to proper accounts as and when they have been received at the front desk before the audit starts. The auditor also verifies that all the vouchers for revenue center transactions are posted and have reached the front desk in time. We will now start with each and every process and discuss about them. We will first have to look for any room discrepancy status. Okay, So that happens when the uh, room status from the front office is matched with the room status provided by the housekeeping. When there are differences, that is known as discrepancy. Okay, So, the, it becomes important for the front office to maintain room status information effectively and post room rates on occupied rooms only. Okay, The registration rack is even to rectify the occupancy status of guest rooms. Now conducting of trial balance has to happen. The night auditor balances all the departmentals posting against the front office accounts. The auditor balances all the revenue center department using a source of documents that is originated in the revenue center. You know he or she you know, matches every posting. To verify no shows also is a process. The night audit verifies all confirmed and guaranteed reservation with the hotel but persons who did not register in the said date or the confirmed date posting of room taxes and charges the auditor verifies the various room rates and 
taxes that are to be posted in the guest account in order to make sure about posting of right room rate in guest account. In a glimpse, we'll understand what are the preparation of reports that is needed. We'll first have to create a high balance report. People who are, you know, who've reached a certain amount, maybe the high balance, the amount is fixed by the front office manager beyond which dues cannot be, you know, un uh, kept. So a high balance report is created. Daily operational report. A manager's report, VIP's report, group report and flash sales summary report. Now a daily operational report, whatever operations that have been taken place, any mishaps, anything uh, that has to be reported is also prepared. A manager's report, taking a note of any uh, important decisions, any important alerts that has to be taken is you know provided in the manager's report a vip's report any vip's all uh, staying with us their preferences everything is mentioned in the vip reports group report any group that is staying with us their uh, preferences their rate packages the amenities that is to be provided is you know accounted in here flash sales summary report so all of these are there in the total number of reports that is prepared by the night auditor. We also have to check on end of the day. In this step, the night auditor balances each guest accounts, less the settlements if made any by the guest. The balance is zeroed out or closed for the particular day and is moved as an opening balance for the next day. This is very important. If, suppose, if any account is left open, the night audit cannot run smoothly. So, all and each account has to be zeroed out. Okay? And if, say, suppose, if any account, if any payment is due, what we can do is, we can shift the charges that is not by in, uh, done by any associate. That's specifically done and taken care by the night auditor he or she only has the right to move say suppose uh, 50,000 is due he or she can move that uh, you know amount to any other separate PM or PM is paymaster and uh, you know continue with the process of night audit once it is done he or she will keep that in mind say suppose that 50,000 has been moved from account A to account B after my night audit is done I'll have to again move it back to A. So, this is a very tricky process and uh, again, it is in the hands of the night auditor. The final step will include distribution of reports. So, the final step in night auditing process involves distribution of reports prepared. Responsibility of night auditor is to hand over the reports to authorities, you know, and these are confidential New reports and not to be given to you know other departments or any other people who is not having the authority to you know go through the same report so with this we finish section 5 unit 9In section 2 of unit 9, we will talk about a cashier. Now, uh, for every night shift, it's important that we have a cashier on shift. Okay? Without a cashier, nothing can happen, right? So, let us understand what is the job description. What does he or she is supposed to do? He's supposed to uh, guest accountancy in hotel requires efficiency and accuracy. The task of front office cashier centers on guest accounting cycle. Remember, we spoke about accounting cycle in chapter 8. The cashier posts charges to any guest account. Also, any non-guest account or non-residential guests. Hotels having property management systems have points of sales integrated for the posting of any charges in the guest accounts. In 
manually handed hotels, the information needs to be communicated without any delay or mistakes. So, in modern day hotels, there is just a operating system. There are, a, you know, a point of sales wherein through which we'll have to post the charges. So, there is no verbal communication needed. Now, the cashier at the end of his or her shift has to balance guest accounts. The cashier of a hotel also handles banking services, foreign exchange, lockers and safety deposit boxes. So these are all the services that the front office cashier has to complete. Let us quickly go through the duties and responsibilities performed by the cashier. The cashier operates front office posting software, obtains the house bank from account section and keeps balanced. That's a very tricky job, right? If anything goes up and down in this, there will be a shortage or an overage, right? And we need to avoid that. When there is less pressure of cash, he or she helps in guest check-in procedure, performs variety of banking services for guests like check, cash and foreign exchange currency. He follows up on all deposit dues, Deposit to be paid by the guest or any, uh, you know, any person of that sort. Posting of charges to guest accounts and non-guest accounts. Handling paid out transactions, if any, during the day. Transferring guest balances to other accounts as and when required. The checks are crashed for guests following the approval policy. Helps in completing guest checkout procedures. Settling guest and non-guest accounts, dispensing guest records after guest checkout, handling various modes of payment like cash, travelers, check, credit cards and bill to company. In short, bill to company is called BTC. Very important, keep this in mind. So it is the front office cashier's duty to take on any responsibility for any cash used in processing front desk transactions. Adjustments of discount is done by the cashier whenever applicable. Clarifying any questions or concerns about the charges of any guest's bill. Maintaining adequate supplies of outlet stationery for the cashier's shift to run smoothly. You know it is his Duty also to maintain a track of all high balance guests and inform on to the duty manager or the lobby manager, whoever is, you know, on shift. Checking up and following on up on bills on hold. Checking the billing instructions if it's correct for all expected departure guests. And, you know, keeping a tra track of uh, guests who are supposed to leave who are due out. Also, at the close of the shift, he has to check balances of department and make their totals. At the close of shift, balance cash, issue and manage safety deposit boxes. He or she will have to assist front desk staff on check-in as and when required. So, students, with this, we finish section 2 of unit 9. section we will uh, learn and talk about cash uh, section the cash functions how everything takes place so you know at a uh, when somebody is at the cashier there are a lot of situations that he or she needs to be prepared about so certain cash and like cash transaction can happen at an advance you know uh, before the time certain cash transactions can happen you know uh, maybe there are due outs uh, people who are supposed to check out they haven't checked out but there are a lot of outstanding uh, certain rooms certain guests have reached a high balance wherein uh, their you know the amount has reached a certain level beyond which we will not be able to give them credit limit so all of this will be uh, talking about in this chapter so for example if i take up uh, the first topic wherein uh, suppose the guest uh, makes an advance payment so, uh, what do we do in that case? 
in such a case the front office you know accept the cash from the guest now he also makes a you know a copy when uh, for any purchase that you make at a normal store also you do get a receipt right of the bill copy so we also make certain bill copies and give it to the guest provide it to the guest we make a uh, in his uh, so say suppose uh, he's supposed to come and check in at uh, two days later so we'll go to his reservation in the reservation screen on his reservation screen will make a alert will provide an alert so when and any time that uh, say suppose i am not being able to uh, communicate this message that say for example uh, person a has made a uh, 50000 advance payment for his reservation now it's not completely man uh, completely easy for any person to you know let everybody of every people of the department know about the same so what we can do in that case we can leave an alert that um, mr a has deposited deposited 50000 dated uh, today's date for example all of this is done we'll also leave him with a copy of the receipt of 50 rupees 50000 rupees received and uh, with a hotel stamp and the official signatories with uh, the front office manager or the lobby manager we definitely have to let them know that 50,000 cash has been taken and uh, so you know it's easier for us to record to make a note and for the cashier so 50,000 when he has it in his cash account for today when this amount he's dropping uh, and giving it to the main cashier he also finds this attached copy and uh, it's easier that where we can track that where is this 50,000 rupees coming from. So this is a, a scenario wherein if advance uh, payments are being taken. Now suppose uh, we'll move on to uh, you know a format 2 wherein we'll have to fix we, uh, we, we do not know we do not have any guarantee of the payment that is supposed to be coming from a guest. Suppose uh, everything is on uh, direct payment we need to secure a mode of payment a method of payment for example we can take his credit card we can take anything that he is okay to provide us with but a mode of uh, you know payment has to be mentioned so what we can do is we can take his credit card i'll help you with an example how it, that's done so we take uh, the card number we take the cvv we also take uh, the number the name of the owner the number that is uh, the name that is printed on the card also the expiry date and the bank and the card type if it's a visa or a master or an amex because uh, we do have a problem if some details of these uh, are missing because everything is very important so this uh, this is like a scenario number two wherein we have to secure modes of payment for uh, every guest for each and every guest because you never know who can be a skipper who will run away okay without prior information now we'll talk about scenario number three wherein the guest has just arrived we'll have to create an account we'll have to create a folio for him wherein we'll make any charges any posting because you never know when the guest checks in he is entitled for every service that he wants to okay but uh, the payment everything that comes later but we never know we have to keep a track if uh, he's taking any service if he's buying something from the hotel if he's uh, you know ordering something we need to have a proper account we need to have a proper folio for him wherein you know whatever he takes if his payment is secure that's everything comes secondary but we'll have to keep on posting We'll have to let every other department know that uh, person A is taken a uh, lunch meal. Person A has taken, uh, opted for a spa session for 90 minutes. Everything has to be accounted. So when I open his folder, when I open his folio, that he's taken his lunch at 12.30 at the uh, main restaurant, we know. Amounting rupees 12,900 plus taxes. So that is what it's easier for us if everything is in a in a in a one account we also will talk about different paid out vouchers that is kept with the cashier now every 
every time it's not just hard cash you know notes that is uh, kept with the cashier there are liquid cashes also there are certain papers certain documents which is equal to cash so uh, for example we'll take paid out vouchers as same okay paid out are situations wherein the guest is uh, you know you're paying on behalf of the guest and the guest has uh, done a signature maybe yes i you know authorize the hotel to pay rupees so suppose 500 on behalf of me which i'll pay later when i settle my bills so that's a paid out uh, paid out uh, disimbursement form so what we do is uh, when the guest is checking out that also we'll have to end cash that uh, because 500 rupees from my cash the cash flow that i have in hand at right now because that has uh, 500 rupees less that uh, form that i have the disbursement form that i have for paid out will be also submitted will also be dropped at the you know cash drop box and that will reach the uh, cashier at the accounts team so uh, because he'll check when he counts the note whatever uh, you know i have uh, accumulated throughout the day when i drop in and when he checks the cash uh, so he sees that i have 500 rupees less then he'll also see i'll make a note that uh, 500 rupees less duty or paid out given at uh, room number uh, 102 maybe mr a so uh, he'll also have a copy of the paid out voucher so this is an example of uh, disbursement of a paid out voucher then we also have a function wherein a certain foreign exchange uh, can happen okay so what I do is I have a form uh, on the uh, site. I have a form wherein I'll have to uh, make the guest whoever comes in to, you know, exchange the foreign currency. What I'll do is I'll take the foreign currency. I'll uh, print out a form then that has to be signed by the uh, guest and also the lobby manager or the duty manager present there. The amount after deducting taxes will be shown. If the guest agrees only then we will forward with the encashment procedure. Along with that we will require the guest uh, you know photocopy, uh, authorized photocopy. If it is a foreigner guest obviously which is why he or she is doing a encashment of foreign currency. We will request for a passport uh, stating that along with any other you know uh, a driving license or a pan card anything that he or she is carrying so along with that everything has to be folded again dropped at the cashier because i will not be able to give anything at the end of my shift everything has to go to reach the general cashier at the accounts team and uh, this is also a function that takes place now a cash uh, you know function of a cashier can also happen when the guest is checking out we'll definitely have to check uh, for each and every guest that the account when an account opens it starts with zero right because uh, just when an account opens the guest hasn't taken anything he has just stepped into the hotel which is why we are creating the folio with, as in because whenever he takes any services or any products we can keep on posting the charges now because I said when the account opened it opens with a zero what I'll have to do is now that he's posting, uh, different departments are posting, say suppose housekeeping is posting, uh, two bottle of uh, mineral water from the minibar has been consumed, a dinner has been taken at the, uh, you know, main restaurant, uh, there are different uh, other services, whatever the guest has taken. My main motive is to clear everything out. So when I receive a payment of 50,000, I will clear maybe the lunch, maybe the salon service, maybe the room rent he's just uh, you know pendings there are certain pendings with the uh, water bottles maybe the liquor consumption he wants it in a separate bill whatever it is i'll try my main motive at the end of my settling the account should be that because it is started with a zero i'll have to zero out my account right we were reading this uh, exact thing in your previous chapter section 8 so kindly left, refer to that also. So my main motive is that everything should be cleared and I do not have any open cash account uh, so that there can be any problems arising during my night audit process.
the last topic would include uh, that the cashier also has a safety deposit box a safety deposit locker we do have safety deposit locker at uh, the room itself but we also provide one with the front office team wherein a front office team you know they are handling a huge amount of cash maybe lakhs maybe uh, uh, crores can happen at any point but maybe if there are four five events happening the amount can reach up to huge amounts so also for us we cannot keep that many cash at, at our cash uh, drawer we have safety deposit locker and the key is uh, with the duty managers or with the front office manager whoever has the authority to keep it with so uh, that facility is provided for guests as well for any employees as well so uh, it doesn't uh, you know majorly focus on a guest or anybody in particular but it is open for everyone so the front office associate will have a form wherein uh, the present person at the cashier will give them a key now that key will have a duplicate copy and will be kept with the guest okay so whenever uh, this key matches with that key only then do we have the permission to open the safety locker and he suppose he puts gold or he puts cash he puts uh, anything which is very important which he doesn't want to keep in the room or um, you know he's not safe or something that is uh, important for him which is why uh, so again when he wants to open when he wants to recover the item what he has to do is he has to tell us the key number the locker number also he has to provide us with uh, the duplicate key and the key that we have will match those and uh, with that we'll end the procedure and he'll get back his uh, documents or anything that is submitted with us students we are uh, about to finish our unit 9 and this is going to be your last section we'll quickly thoroughly have a look on uh, one the uh, line the you know section wherein the cash section and the night audit happens and who are the people who are in charge also we will talk about macros opera and uh, talk about you know different procedures just a glimpse wherein obviously you will not be able to understand everything in details and also you do not have any use of this at this earlier stage but then just for a uh, idea we'll go through this first let's understand a uh, cash section and night audit who are the people who are in charge the first person in charge is the finance controller then we have the front office manager then we have the night auditor then we have the senior cashier and at end we have the uh, associate cashier so now if a cashier does a mistake the senior cashier will be questioned okay now a senior cashier does a mistake who will be questioned the night auditor and so on and so forth so this is the line okay uh, everything has to be maintained in this way we will we'll now talk about the micros and uh, talk about the opera this system this is a very interesting uh, topic now like i said uh, you will not be able to know everything in details about this but then just to have a key idea let's just go through this so this is mainly done and checked by the uh, duty manager who is taking the night audit okay the first uh, you see it's opera help end of the day that's uh, for example any date uh, that is uh, when the night audit is happening this is your end end of day routine what is the routine like what are the procedures these are the checklists that the front office uh, duty manager has to take a note on the first selected point this is a selected point uh, so country and state check this is majorly done by the uh, telephone department the operators they check if uh, the c forms the i form that has been collected c forms are for uh, you know nationalities abroad and i forms are for indian resident guests okay Uh, that has to be done by the telephone operators and the front office uh, duty manager checks if everything is been done correctly now arrivals with a deposit balance okay uh, arrivals not yet checked in this uh, form is created by the receptionist at the uh, front desk and been checked and given to the duty manager as a follow up now she also checks arrival not checked in uh, departures not yet checked out 
if there are any because uh, this usually gets over by the afternoon shift the afternoon shift comes and uh, checks on all the due outs pending due outs are people who are supposed to check out but haven't yet and we do not have any confirmation from them about the departures departure time so what we do is we ring up the guest and uh, check when exactly he's leaving suppose somehow we miss out uh, if the checkout has already been done but the you know information has not yet been passed to housekeeping so they have uh, left the uh, room untidy okay now the room has to be clean unless and until they clean the room it will not show uh, you know uh, vacant in our system and we will not be able to sell that room to the guests that is majorly when the discrepancies arise next we have weather notes a uh, different note that is to be taken care the preferences of each and every get if it's been met or not then we have rolling of the business date now this is a very important topic and uh, majorly that uh, when uh, after the night audit is over this is what we get to see so the system automatically refreshes itself and when it restarts the business date rolls uh, changes over okay so for example uh, today is 01022020 when the uh, night audit has been completed the system will automatically refresh itself and the date will change to 02022020 like so uh, then if the posting and the taxes that has been picked up in the rooms are those being done correctly or not uh, then the audit happens after the audit, uh, then happens additional procedures uh, wherein if, uh, you know, you see uh, computer bugs, laptop bugs, you have that idea. So, certain times the system in the hotels also, they might have bugs. In case there is a problem and the audit uh, is taking a very long time, uh, usually an audit happens within, uh, you know, 1, 1 1.5 hours, maybe lesser than that if it's, uh, you know, if there are no glitches. But if there is any, which means there is a certain kind of bug. So just to clear out those bugs, uh, it takes a little more time. It consumes a little more time. And uh, this process is taken up there. Then we have print final reports. These final reports goes to as a handover to the front office manager. And uh, basically all this, these reports consume of the ARR, uh, the room's revenue, the important guests, their preferences, if the preferences are being made, if uh, there's a complaint, uh, is the complaint being resolved and all of this is discussed in the morning meeting that happens in each and every hotel uh, during the uh, start of every shift, okay, around 8, 8, 9.30. So that's an example of uh, your micros opera. And uh, pardon my drawing, I tried to help you with uh, these drawings because, uh, you know, we are not being able to hold uh, practical classes. But uh, if you can make an effort to copy this down in your front office journal, uh, will be great. So that's about night audit. And uh, if you have any questions, do let me know.